Okay, August 2024, the prophetic timeline. Where are we at? You know, first of all, thanks for watching the video. Please like, subscribe, comment. Much appreciated. You know, we're going to unpack the parallel gospels of Matthew 24, Luke 21, Mark 13, and Psalm 2. We have to in order to understand where are we at. Okay, so what are the upcoming events? What should we expect? Really, this is a duality, triality prophecy. Jesus speaks for the current audience, that's the disciples, the audience right now for you and I, and the tribulation saints as well, as well or the people inside the tribulation. So when you get into Matthew 24, really what we want to understand is there's going to be three same threads here throughout Matthew 24, Luke 21, and Mark 13. The same threads that you see here are going to be about this globalism of the entirety of the church and any God-fearing Jews as well. When they're bringing that group up to your local magistrates, your, your assembly, your state, your national level, and wherever you might be in the country, when they're bringing you in front, that's, that's the people that they're blaming now. They're going to want to bring that group up and say, it's you're the faults, you're the ones. And in Psalm 2, that's the Geneva version, we see here that it's anyone that's against Christ, the followers. Okay, so that's the part here. They're looking to blame, and it has to come back to they're holding dear to the Bible. They're holding dear to what God says. Now they're going to come after that group. So what we do know so far is that has not happened yet. And so really what this video is about is that must happen before the rapture. It's clear that the church has to endure just a little bit longer here. We don't know if it's going to be another three or four years. And at the end of this, these slides, I'm going to just go ahead and kind of speak now from what has kind of bothered me a lot about what the church or lack thereof is really teaching. Now, I'm a pre-tribulation believer. I am definitely a premillennialist. Jesus Christ will return. Praise God for that. His feet will land on the Mount of Olives, and he will split that, and we will see the marriage of the Lamb. You know, it's kind of scary to me to think that a lot of our seminaries don't teach this. I'm currently in it. And they don't really hit home on that marriage of the Lamb. And it's really key here because we're grafted into this. That's the church. We're grafted into that covenant. And that covenant is, is really wanting Israel to finally repent and, and cry out Jesus as the Messiah, which they will do at the end of the tribulation. So what we want to understand is, hey, where are we at right now in August 2024? What more do we have to endure prior to this rapture? And I think we get ahead of ourselves if we're just saying, hey, it, it is at any moment. But at the same time, it's also clear that we're, we're going to see these this group of people that are really going to be, I like to say, that remnant group that have hung on. They, have, they haven't done several things. They haven't compromised. They're really standing fast to what it is and trusting God. They're still spreading the gospel, the truth. They're holding dear to the principles of the Bible. And I think a lot of other things that are going to be forced upon us now as more and more viruses come forth, more and more wars and fake wars are ensued it's about the principles that no we're not supposed to march we're not supposed to be protesting we're not supposed to be doing any of these things actually we're supposed to be loving our neighbors and being able to care for people now they they're going to be blaming christians they be in that psalm too it's actually the entire world here so father against son and on and on and on so every possible scenario is everyone now coming against that particular group when we see that on a global scale and we see that much pressure coming upon it that's when i would say okay now look up your redemption is nigh because it's really the same thing that happened to that first group where they in 70 a.d see it's a tri triality prophecy it spoke to those that had to endure that first couple hundred years and now, for us, I think we'll see a shorter version of that, an intense version of that. 
And then now the same thing is going to happen to that church and, and any God-fearing Jew. And then you'll see this triality part too, where it also speaks into the rest of those scriptures speak into the group that are inside the seven-year tribulation. That's what I would expect. That's how I think we should look at that through that lens so that we can endure. Because it really does say, hey, those who hold fast, those who continue to stand with a smile on their face, and then are, don't get ahead of yourself. Because Jesus will give you the words to speak. The Holy Spirit will. And it's, it's no big deal. And it's, it's near. Your redemption is nigh. I hope that this helps you because we might have to endure here a, a little bit longer than what we think. All right. Blessings to you. Hope that this video has blessed you with peace and shalom. Be safe out there.